On Gearbox today, we're looking at the Optoma EW675UT. And here to give us some advice as someone who knows a bit more about projectors than me, we're joined by Cameron Glendinning. Cameron is a projectionist who works for CinePro Outdoor Cinema as well as IMAX. And you've been in the game for a little while now, mate. Oh, about 25 years, uh, Jimmy. So you've seen some advances. What do you think of this thing? Oh, I just can't believe how far video has got over the last 25 years. This is absolutely amazing. The short throw um, high definition projectors that are available today are so bright they can, I mean, you can fill a 20 to 25 foot wide screen in darkness with something like this. Mm. And uh, in, in you know, a fully lit uh, classroom, you can have a hundred inch image, uh, you know, computer generated image seen by all the students. I mean, and in that situation, in fact, this one will do interactivity, interactivity as well. You can get the optional pen and you know, USB plug, link it into your computer, install the software, you can draw on your projection. It's, it's incredible. And when you think that this projector can sit as close as, what, a quarter of the width of the screen away. So three feet away from the screen will get you a 12 foot wide image. Enormous. It's, it's incredible. We, we, had it, we had it literally maybe 18 inches from a wall and our, our image was I think 2.4 meters wide. <laughs> and, and that was in you know, a pretty brightly lit office. Mm. And uh, for, for text on a computer, it's, it's no drama. I think for, for movies, I'd probably want to darken the room a bit. But yeah. uh, certainly nothing, nothing like the limitations we used to face. Well, you know, a few years ago, you know, um, uh, I mean, this is a, what, 250-watt uh, bulb in it? And it produces like three and a half thousand. It used to be... 3,200 lumens. It used to be that you had to have two bulbs only a few years ago to produce three mm. and a half thousand ANSI lumens. I mean, it's getting more efficient. It's getting uh, more affordable. And also, the, uh, the uh, you know, DLP technology, you know, the rainbow effect is, is almost completely gone nowadays. It's, mm. it's so hard to see on single chip technology, whereas a few years ago, you know, they were considered rainbow makers. I mean... So uh, basically, brighter, better, smaller, cheaper. Amazing. Now, the limitations of this optic system are that obviously your screen surface needs to be good. Oh, it has to be completely flat. We um, found little tiny changes side to side caused massive, massive keystone shifts. Mm. Well, uh, you've got and to that's be just a function of well, You've got to be very accurate with the install, but it's not that hard to make it so all the, you know, you've just got to move it's it across. It's not that hard to get a tape measure in a spirit level. Yeah, well, no, you can just watch it on the screen and once everything gets right, mm. you know, but it does take a few moments to set up. But when you think about what you could use it for, apart from the obvious classroom, you know, boardrooms where, you know, the projector is way behind you. There's no chance of shadows. And uh, as a presenter, actually, that's, that's a really appealing point because as a presenter, having a projection shining in your face is a very distracting thing. Mm. Oh, it's impossible it to see. It very the hard to see your audience. Well, you want the eye-to-eye -eye interaction, don't yeah. you? And the other aspect is, I mean, think of everything else. You can put enormous images in very small rooms, mm. uh, or perhaps even on a stage. You know, um, behind the drummer, you could suddenly put a full-sized image. Yeah, we're seeing we're seeing a lot more visuals used in in uh, sort of medium-sized shows these days. You know, mm. like the thousand kind of capacity venues. Um, we're seeing a lot more projection and I think, as you say, I hadn't even thought of that actually until mm. you brought it up, but this is, this is ideal for that well, they're stuff. They're so cheap nowadays. I mean, what does one of these things come at, you know? Now, in install situations, I, th I think, look, to me, clearly, what with the whole like, you know, covered side panel for the connectors and everything, that says to me this is designed for installs. Mm. Um, you know, there's the RS-232 and there's also Ethernet, Crestron compatible remote control options. So it's very easy to integrate this into you know, part of a, a whole room or building solution. And I think that's a really smart move from Optima actually. Mm. Um, I think anything that makes your gear more compatible with other people's gear is, is a good thing. Do but you, you reckon this... I think we should mention something about uh, the great piece of glass that's there. I mean, that's just enormous. That, what, a tennis ball the, sized? The, the baseball sized chunk of glass, <laughs> which is the lens. And then, let's not forget the mirror as well, it goes with it. Oh, and, um, I mean, that, that only a few years ago, I mean, a wide angle lens was traditionally the most expensive lens you could get. It's more expensive than the projector in, in past time. Yeah. But now, you know, you can buy the entire package together uh, for only a fraction of mm. what it would have cost just a few years ago. It's, it's truly amazing, the technology. and. I love this 21st century business. Pretty serious advances there? Oh, absolutely. Excellent. There you go.